It is extremely dangerous to work on your alternator with the battery cable still connected. Begin by removing the negative or ground cable. With the ground cable unattached, no electricity will be flowing in the car. Use a 13 millimeter wrench, red arrow, Verify you are working on the negative or ground cable, yellow arrow, and disconnect the cable. Make sure the cable cannot accidentally make contact with the battery ground post while you are working on the car. You will need to remove the drive belt from the pulley, red arrow. Please see the link at the end of this video for an article on drive belt removal and further assistance. Working on the rear of the alternator, remove the cap and then the 13 mm nut from the main electrical line, red arrow. Then remove the 8 mm nut for the smaller line, yellow arrow. Move to the front of the alternator and remove the two 15 mm bolts, red arrows. The bolts are long, so you may have to move the fan blades to give you enough room to get the bolts out. Note, the fan is removed in this picture, but you do not need to remove the fan to change the alternator. With both bolts removed, lower the alternator, red arrow, out of the bottom of the vehicle. This will involve a little wiggling, but the alternator will fit between all the lines. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.